Tihe Māori ora E nga mana E nga reo E rao rangatirama In the words of the Māori The indigenous people of New Zealand I said To all those who have gathered in this place today Greetings, greetings, greetings When we're talking about automation and the whole life cycle, you need to automate all the elements of building that data warehouse. So that's things like building a dimension, creating an index, generating a schema, building a cube, fully documenting it from end to end as well. I do build a data warehouse here from scratch, start to finish in about 25 minutes. Uh, I'll show how data warehouse automation can be put to work in the real world. 25 minutes in, I'm now engaged with the user, talking to them with their data in front of them. There we go and we've got a green light, okay? So all my tests passed, um, nothing failed, and anybody in the office with that stuck up on top of a cupboard can see your test has just been deployed. This is actually very cool style of technology, and we're getting um, customers that are actually saying, it used to take us, and it's embarrassing to say this, but uh, no one believes it, but we, we have people that are saying, this test, this test used to take us three weeks, and now it takes eight seconds. The same person can package and deploy to the next environment, one person with minimal technical skills. We're, we're, we have a lot of Oracle gurus, and tomorrow we have to do Nitiza. Yeah, no problem, because if you're using RED, the code is generated behind the scenes and it's always tuned for the platform you're using. Ten times faster in development, but it, it's about, yeah, if you have to refactor documentation, that's really making a difference. We love the guys behind the product, we love their can-do vision. Uh, we love the foundations of the product and uh, together we made sure that uh, uh, right now we have a product which is really offering us uh, the, the, the flexibility of the things we need. So we threw them in at the deep end. We had a report that we tried to produce before. It took us three weeks and we didn't quite get what we wanted. What we ended up with was a cube which delivered exactly what we wanted after four days which was fully documented and production ready. I don't think we've, we've felt this level of confidence about anything in terms of an IT delivery before. I used to have to deliver data warehouses with large teams. When I'm saying large, it's, you know, it could be 20, 30 people. And if I look at the size of the team that we're working with Ramesh on, a team of two people for building the warehouse in um, you know, four months is uh, it's an incredible uh, productivity. I, I went back to, to my bosses and I said to them, look, I've seen this thing, I know we haven't got any budget, but I've seen this thing, and it's probably the sparkiest piece of kit I've ever seen in my life, right? And that exactly will also be where automation comes in, because a lot of that work, as Steve Hitchman pointed out, is actually, thank you for the word, donkey work. The code that is generated is technically superior to the code that any rock star programmer can develop. Typically the constraint in most systems is smart people like Terry who have to do the hard work that won't be made redundant but whose job will be much more interesting if they have access to tools like Wearscape which is a fabulous very mature product in this market by the way. They provide a comprehensive end-to-end -end solution all the way from the, the model building requirements gathering through the testing and the documentation phase of uh, delivery and data warehousing. And to my mind, I think they're probably the only player who will cover all those bases.